Hello, welcome to Excel Tips by the HR Diary. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a nine box grid for talent mapping with scatter chart. The performance potential matrix, also known as nine box grid, enables an organization to access their talent pool on two dimensions, performance and potential. Each dimension has three ratings, one, two, three, one, two, three, resulting in nine combinations. The x-axis represents performance and the y-axis represents potential. Here, I have some data on employees' performance and potential. With this data, I will show you how to create a nine box grid with performance on the x-axis and potential on the y-axis. To start, select the columns with the performance and potential data, including the header. Then go to insert. All right. And go to scatter and select scatter right click select data and then click on edit for the x values select the performance data ex excluding the header so I'll select this and for the y series y values select the potential data excluding the header so i'll select here to here for the series name let's call it nine nine box grid for Talent mapping. Then click OK. And OK here. Now let's uh, click onto the plus sign and untick the grid lines because I want to remove all these lines. So I untick it and the grid lines are gone. Okay. Now, go to the chart, right click again, then click plot format, plot area. Okay, and then uh, at the at the uh, border selection, um, go to click on to solid line. I, I want to create the the borders here and select a uh, gray. All right. So I have the border here. Now again, click here, then uh, click on the uh, plus sign. And at the data labels, choose more options and when you are at more more options go to the uh, the labor options uh, let me see yep labor options and then um, labor options and un unclick the uh, show leader lines and unclick the y value i don't want this uh numbers here so untick the uh, y values so the number disappears next uh take value from cells and uh, i want i want these names to appear on these dots so i click on this and uh, select the names don't select the header just select the names and click OK. Once I click OK, you will see the names appear here. 
All right. So um, you, you, you will see some uh, names uh, overlapping. Uh, so let's move it out so they don't overlap. All right, so now we have this. Um, next, let's uh, draw the uh, the nine box grid. It's rather plain. I, I, now I want to draw this uh, colored nine box grid. So let's go to this tab. Here I have already drawn a nine box grid, but let's uh, show you how do I uh, draw this uh, nine box grid. So in this box, um, Let's pick, select, drag, and select nine, nine uh, boxes. And then at the home, go to here and click all borders. So you have got the borders. Um, so next, let's color this. Uh, I want to color this as uh, green. So the top right-hand corner, color them as green. And then color the bottom left-hand corner as um orange and um for these uh the rest of the boxes i want to color them as a uh, yellow next let's label these boxes label the top one one a to one c so one a one b one C and then here to A to B and to C and then here I'll label it as three A three B and three oops uh, sorry here label it as three C all right so I've labeled them similar to here. Um, now select the uh, all the nine boxes and uh, click align top and align right. So now I've got the uh, positions uh, similar to to here. All right. So now let's um adjust the column width. So I select these three columns, right click and pick column width and let's set it as 20. There, so the width is the same. So my column width here, the uh, column height, sorry, the row height. So you select here and you right click, row height. So my row height, I set it as 80. Make sure yours is 80. Um, all right, so now I want to uh, create this part. Uh, so I add the labels uh, one, two, and three. And similarly here, one, two, and three. And I also want to add the uh, performance on X axis. So I type the word performance. And here I type the word potential. All right, now um, let's format them. Uh, all these I want to set it as um, gray and set it as gray. And I want the borders, yeah, all borders and all borders. Um, I also want to align this uh, center center and center next uh let's merge this one go to here uh no this is a uh, yeah merge and center click it and here go to here merge and center click it um 
All right, and I want to align, change the direction of this text. I go to here and rotate text up. All right, looks pretty similar. Um, next, uh, select everything there. Uh, bow it, and the fonts are too small. Let's change it to size 14. Uh, okay, let's adjust everything. Um, this is a uh... all right. So, um, next, uh, now select this whole thing here and on, on your keyboard, press Ctrl C to copy it. Then no, go back to to the tab. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. So uh, click on here, and then uh, the uh, click on the grid, and uh, right click, and click the format area. All right, then you click on view and uh, select the picture or text view. You see this one changes, all right? And click on the clipboard. Remember just now you press Control C, now you click clipboard and it pastes the picture here, all right? Then um, uh, next, I want to... Uh, remove this uh, access here. So click on uh, this, this numbering here. So you click on this plus and uh, untick the access. And uh, there you are. So uh, now you have got the, uh, the nine box. You have the talent map and all these are all into the night box. So like for example, Ben, his performance is three, his potential is three. So performance three, potential three, he is here, right? Kenny, his performance is three uh, and his potential is one. So Kenny, poten performance three, potential one. So um, yep, you have everybody uh, uh, nicely uh, put into a night box grid. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching Excel Tricks by the HR Diary. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the HR Diary channel.